The, the auto miner is a thing. Now, it's not letting me place it down anywhere, which is good, except for over top of this, which it kind of snaps over there. What's up, people? I'm Zog, and welcome to my world. We're here, we're doing things back on Empyreon. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> I'm back over in this place, and the reason we're here is to check out a couple of things that I got in the comments, okay? We got, the first thing is JDK in Bosinjo. I don't know how to pronounce your name. B-O-S-N-J-O space B-I-H. I'm not sure. But both of you guys told me that there was one more special loot in here, I believe. Now, I didn't get any help from Bosinjo. He wanted me to find it on my own, but it did get a... a some kind of a clue. I'm only going to call it a clue because it's not the easiest to decipher. This is behind the star thing. There is another epic loot crate, or the purple one, I think. So, I don't know exactly what you are what you mean by star thing. Because these things could also be star things, but I'm thinking maybe this guy. <laughs> Perfect. This is what I thought you were talking about. It's just like right on its side. Check that out. Okay. <laughs> Epic minigun. We might just have to start using the, the minigun. So yeah, I wanted to bring you back for that so you could actually see. Now I got one other comment in here that uh, I thought was really interesting. Uh, and it's basically the fast way to get to the core. Now, in case you're not aware, this is how you got to get to it. Because, you, you know, I was back there right near the core where I was. But this is how you get to it if you're doing it legit. Not using the shortcuts that I got and not using the shortcut that I'm about to tell you about if I can figure it out and find it. Um, it's another one of those comments I need to decipher. But John G was the one who was telling me about this thing. And uh, hopefully I'm understanding your what you're saying properly because it's not necessarily the easiest thing to, to describe, you know, a visual thing in a comment through words. It's not very easy to do. The other thing that I'm kind of curious if this is anything. I don't think it is, but just in case. Yeah, I don't... Well, we came right down. Yeah, I didn't think that would be anything. Anyway, so hopefully I can get back up. Again, good. Anyway, what you were saying is actually at the bot. What you said, you said at the... And I'm reading the comment as, as I'm playing, so if I'm not doing anything, I apologize. I'm trying to read... Um, it says, at the bottom of the ramp where you found the first door, go to the corner on the ramp side. So bottom of the ramp where you found the first door. This is where I found the first door. So the bottom of the ramp would be this. And it says on the ramp side, this side. Uh, and the wall parallel to the door, I guess it would be this one. Uh, place C4. Okay. This one would be C4. I'm not sure what blocks it would destroy. Maybe I'm wrong about it, though. I'm not sure. Now, I'm, I'm doing this, obviously. I'm not going to play C4 because I don't have to. And it brings you down. Okay, well, it does bring you straight down to here, but it doesn't bring you to the core. So here's... Here, the, how about we do it this way? Um, because this is going to lead us directly to the core, right? So there is, uh, right above the drain that leads to the, okay. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I know, I know exactly where that portion is. Basically you said, uh, shoot or, or use C4 on a block and it's going to lead you to the drain that is directly above the core, which this is the, this is that drain right here. There was a drain right here. There was a little great metal. Would you stop falling in and stop glitching? Oh my goodness gracious. This is ridiculous. Um, as soon as I get right to the edge, I just like glitch for a split second. And then I, you know, I can't stop moving at that point in time. Can I even get all the way up? I can. Thank goodness. Stop. 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 Okay. So you're telling me that it's going to lead right here. And this is pretty much, I can't get there. Nyeh. I can't, oh, oh, there is, there's an empty spot. Do you see that? Ugh. You see, there is an empty spot up there. So let's see exactly, oh crap, now I gotta fall back down, let my jetpack come back. Let's go see exactly where that is because he was certainly right that there is a spot, but I think I just misunderstood the comment that he was saying uh, and, and I didn't get the right spot the first time. So let's go check it out. Let's go back up and see if we can actually figure out what he's talking about here. So we can actually, you know what? There is a shortcut here, I believe. 
Yeah, right here. Blech. We don't need to walk all the way back the legit way. I'm pretty much good to go. Okay, so it should be here. Yeah. Oh, right here. Oh, parallel to the door at the bottom of the ramp. Yeah, okay. I'm not exactly sure because this is what you're talking about. It's right over here. Yeah, see, this, this is what I was talking about. It's hard to understand comments, as you know, when you write them. So, basically, you're talking, like, on the wall that the, the, the ramp is coming down against. On the door side. On the other side of it, rather. I don't know. See, that this would be very, very, very difficult to describe in a comment. But I'm glad we figured it out. This is what you're talking about, John G. And you basically, you can come right here, destroy this one panel with a C4 charge, get rid of these blocks right here, which you can't grab back. So you're not actually remove. You're not actually um, losing any materials by blowing. Well, you're losing a little bit of it just by blowing up the one one block here. But it's really not that big of a deal. And then you fall right down into this guy. Ugh. <laughs> that might have hurt a little bit. Now I have to go all the way back around to get back out. But it's pretty cool that that, that is indeed an option. Where is my? It's right here. Isn't it? Uh, there is here it is. Yeah. Okay. Now we're back. There we go. So instead of going right here, you just blow it up right here and you'll fall right down on top of the core. Huh. No, don't, 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 don't. Oh. Whew. Okay. So everybody keeps telling me about L. I know about L. <laughs> I've known about L since probably the first episode. Uh, but, oh, look at the shotgun, man. This thing is cool. Why do you look different? I didn't. I had no idea you look like this. I thought I, 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 I feel like you changed. But anyway, yeah, I, I know about L. The reason I don't use L very often is because I have a light, so it throws me off. The assault rifle has a light, so even though L is a lot more, a lot stronger of a light, it just when I have a light out, I think my shoulder light is already on, even though it isn't. So I just kind of forget about it. I just don't even pay attention. And uh, I just end up not hitting it. Anyway, so now what we're going to play with... Uh, I just wanted to toss that out there. Now what we're going to play with is the auto miners. Now if you take a look at these guys and actually look at some of the stats. Energy in, blah, blah, blah. Uh, it takes a lot more energy. Um, wait a minute. Energy? You... How do we power you? Huh. So obviously it needs power, but I don't know how to give it power. Oh, fuel sword. Yeah, you guys. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. Duh, Zog. How everything else that needs power gets powered. Um, but anyway, so we take a look at that. Okay, mass, blah, blah, blah. Worst per hour, 400, 200, and 100. Placeable in T, which means terrain, I believe. So it can be placed basically anywhere in the world as long as it's not attached to a base. No rotation. I don't know what that means. Size, blah, blah, blah. So I actually want to make these guys... Just because I can, I want to make two of them. That is a lot of stuff to be made. Holy crap. You see all that? That's pretty cool. I like how it adds it all together like that, though. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nifty. I love how it makes it for you as well. That's, like, the best part about it is that it just does everything for you. It's really, really cool. And also, while this thing is being crafted, I did want to mention something else. These guys right here, the auto miner cores, are not craftable. You cannot, at the current moment, craft them. Um, if you look at them, at the miner things right in here, it says, To craft this device, its main component, the core, can be found in the starting equipment of your escape pod and in loot boxes of POIs. Now, that's really cool uh, that they kind of require you to go out to the POIs for some cases. I, I agree with that because it does highly encourage, uh, you know, exploration. It's a very, very, very big thing in the game, of course. But I don't think auto mining should be something that you have to scavenge for. I think the weapons are a good thing and maybe some other kind of component. Or maybe, for example, only to get the tier 3 version would you have to... Oh, well, there's a bunch more again. Uh, maybe for only the tier 3 version do you have to explore to find the special cores. 
But these basic cores, I think, should be made so you can get the tier 1 and tier 2 right off the bat. But if you want the big ones, the best ones, you have to go explore. That makes sense, but not for all of them. I think auto mining should be a thing that's in the game, just because mining is such a pain in the butt if it's not automated. Uh, and in the beginning of the game, it's fine. When you're new to it, it's all good and well. But at the amount of stuff that I've mined, I'm done with mining now. I, I'm, you know, I'm done with it. But now, I only have eight chances uh, to get the auto miners. Now, the other thing that I, I'm, I might be speaking out of turn because I don't know for sure if these guys are wasted. Maybe I get these guys back. Who knows? I don't know, but they seem disposable. I feel like they would be just because you get eight of these guys and really two tier three auto mining devices would probably last me forever. Uh, maybe not, maybe three or four, but even still you get eight. So I feel like they would be disposable. Like after they're done mining the resource that they're going for, they're gone. They're, they're done. You can't pick them back up again kind of thing. Which, like I said, I'm okay with in certain cases, but not for all of the auto miners. Maybe just for the tier three. And that's kind of my viewpoint on it. I think it's a little extreme to require that for all of them, but hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and see how these guys work. And we already have one of them. I want to play with these guys for sure. You guys can go away. And we have this guy is almost done. Now, there's a couple things that I want to do, actually. There's there's a couple of little, little nuggets of... Inf of oh, that's going to take a little while. Uh, there's a couple things I want to do with these, actually. There's more things that I want to test, rather. You see this guy is almost blown up, actually. This is a little pain in the butt. I think my fuel uh, tank actually got destroyed. Or both of them, or one of them. I'm not sure. I don't know where the fuel tank was. I really don't. I feel like it might have been here, but... Or, actually, yeah, I bet it's right. it was right here, I guess. Or no, maybe the thruster? I don't know. Something got destroyed from this thing. Because now I only have like 20 minutes of fuel left, which is really kind of a bummer. Um, so I think what we're going to do is, since I do have so much fuel and I'm not too worried about it, I'm going to use the, the fuel hog and to get around, just so we can test these things out and actually see where they're going. So, the second one, and that was just from a rocket drone while I was over there at the abandoned mine. Uh, a rocket drone came by and just started destroying everything, and I, I didn't have a chance to get out and uh, shoot it a few times with my sniper rifle before uh, before it destroyed some stuff. So what I want to do is actually I want to go out to the, the the other ores here. There's a couple more. There's two more iron iron uh, nodes out here that I want to go and get. Not necessarily because I need iron, but I do. But not because of that so much as just because I want to see what happens when you run out of ore. Somebody told me something that happens. I, I I hope it's true. Let's just go the other way. Let's go um, behind me, directly behind me. Ugh, spinning, ugh, spinning, ugh, spinning. Is this the right direction? Uh, almost, a little more. Uh, I think it's right over here, no? Uh, where is it? I don't know, somewhere in this general direction, so let's just go this way. Okay. But yeah, somebody told me something that happens when you do actually run out of ore, and I want to see if it happens in single player. I've seen it happen in a, in a multiplayer environment. My buddy actually plays the game too. He was on a server, and I saw what happens then, but I want to see if it happens in single player. I want to see if it's a vanilla thing or if it's like a modded thing. Uh, I don't know, but we'll find out. Okay, so we're here now, and as you can see... The, the auto miner is a thing. Now, it's not letting me place it down anywhere, which is good, except for over top of this, which it kind of snaps over there. So, I guess it doesn't really matter exactly where you go above it. It just that you go above it. So, we're going to try to do it, like, directly on top, which seems to be, like, right where this little rock patch thing is. So, we're going to go, like, right there. All right. So, now there's their auto miner. Let's go back to number one. Put this in here. Energy items. Bam. Bunches and bunches and bunches. So now it's mining. Is it actually going to mine mine? Or is it going to... It says 400. Source quality 68%. 277 per hour. Iron ore limit 6,993 items. Okay, so it's getting it. Okay. Next product in. Oh, okay. So it's only doing... Holy crap Oh, Jeez. Don't blow up my daggone thing. Oh my goodness, that's you? It's you? I didn't even see you over there, man. 
I can't see anything. I can't see him! Stupid punk! Good lord! Hey, we got another rocket drone coming in. He saw me, I guess. There you are. Got you! Jeez, man, these guys are attacking me like crazy. So, I guess this uh, this guy is going to take a while. Obviously, I kind of knew he was. He wasn't going to. Uh, he wasn't going to end up getting it like all in like inside an hour or anything like that. He's going to take a while to get for sure. But I do like how it's kind of just going on its own. It's pretty cool. We're already at six. I don't have to touch it. I don't have to worry about it. We can just kind of let it go. And we get what we get, I guess. So there's seven. Yeah, so source quality is 68%. Limit is 6,993 items. Now, this is interesting to me because it's not actually mining it, it doesn't look like. I mean, look at it. We uh, the, the one we're on, the ore node that we're on, so I can hover over. I can zoom in, can't I? I can totally zoom in. It's not helping me at all, but I can zoom in. Um, there you go. 100 ores left. 100% ores left of 1800, 1832. So we have 1832 left. Okay, you're not still flying towards me, are you? Okay, I just had to make sure. So it's interesting to me that this thing might not ever get anything. Oh, and we can pick it up. Oh, that is magnificent. Okay, so these guys last a while. All right, well, that's pretty cool. That's good to know. All right, good, 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 good. I was worried, it would, you know, I take back everything I was saying before. You happy now, game? I hope you're happy, because I'm taking it back. I don't do that very often. Actually, I do that when I'm wrong, I guess. But there's another one around here Some. Oh, zoom back out. Okay. There's another one down in this direction somewhere. Um, There should be, I thought... It was down over here, to be honest. Is it this far away? No, it's not. No, it's not this far away. Maybe we went to the far one first. The other one. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. 5,521. Let's go see how strong this one's going to be. Now, I kind of understand or I kind of know how that looks already. Uh, as far as the terrain, how the terrain looks. So I shouldn't pass it up. It actually should be like right over this range in the middle of this lake thing over here somewhere. Uh, there's an island in the middle of a big lake thing that we should be able to get to. We're, I feel like we're moving really slow, but we're not. I don't see that terrain. Okay, let's go back to the map. Oh, yeah, we're far, we're, we're pretty far away. Uh, oh, see, look at me. <laughs> okay, I gotta go to this side of the mountain range. And it's in the middle of the thing, the peninsula, basically. Hi, moon, going very, 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 very fast. There it is. See, I see you, 5,000... Uh, oh, rocket drone. Of course there's a rocket drone over here. Okay. Oh, green barrier. I know I can fly through it, people. I know. Don't worry. I, I am well aware. Okay. I'm aware now. It wasn't when I started the game. Oh, oh, what in the world was that, man? Oh. And then go down. I, like, bounced in the air or something. I don't know. That's weird. F, number three, V, because this guy's probably coming at me pretty quick. Boom! Goodbye. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. So we should be, uh, yeah, definitely use our uh, jetpack hover mode speed thing. Oh, you went in the water. Can we get, we can still get you in the water. Why not? You're not wearing your helmet. Yeah, I am. I can't see it. Oh, that's right. We're where, oh crap. Gun. Uh, let's take you off for now. We have one left. So that way I can't see anything. I forgot about my light. There we go. Sorry, I know it's pitch black for you for a minute. I'm trying to get to this daggone drone here. I don't know why I'm so worried about the drone, but I, I just... Yeah, drone. Hey, there's a crystal right beside him. Might as well, right? I mean, there's raw pentaxid. It's not a crystal. Uh, there we go. Okay, thank you. Yeesh. Wow, jetpack does nothing underwater. <laughs> there we go. Now we're like at the water surface, at least. Jetpack out of it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me out of here a little bit. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, I made it to land. All right, let's go over back over here to the iron deposit. Oh wow, okay, I'm already almost on top of it. Right around here-ish. 
Get this guy back on the bar, and we'll go ahead and lay you down right about, I'd say, there. And we'll go inside, and we will power you. So now, let's see. This one's 86%, 360 per hour. Limit 6,993 items. So maybe that's, maybe it is mining the node. Maybe it is actually mining it. I'm hoping it is actually, because I want to try out what I was mentioning earlier. But maybe this is just the limit that this device can do total. And then it breaks, or maybe you have to pick it up and put it back down, or maybe that's just the fuel source. I'm not sure exactly what this limit is right here, uh, but it's okay. We're going to have to deal with that in the future. For now, I need to get back to my ship. We're going to let these guys go. Just let them run out all that fuel. Just let it go. It's whatever. Uh, we'll come back to them eventually, naturally, to uh, refuel them, to make sure they're good, to check on them, to keep tabs. Uh, because that's definitely important to do. But other than that, I think it's just time to head back to base. Okay, so one other thing. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Right click. There we go. One thing I didn't actually point your, uh, bring your attention to is the fact that I am actually, no, F3, thank you, level 20. And I have gone ahead and unlocked uh, as much as I can in each and every single one of these guys. So we should have everything unlocked for us, which means... Maybe we need to take a look at the weapons we're using. Now, first and foremost, I do have the assault rifle. I do need some kind of a quick weapon uh, that I can whip out and just rapid fire everybody. So maybe the assault rifle is pretty good. I don't know if we have like a tier two. Or maybe we can look for a tier two weapon that's also pretty good. What do we have available to us? I know there's a projectile prote uh, pistol tier two. This guy does 80 damage. This one does 40 damage. Um, and I don't know if this one is actually rapid fire or not, or, um, semi-automatic. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, if it's semi-automatic, then I can click as much as I need to, to, sh to shoot people. And that could actually be beneficial to us because it is more powerful. Now this guy's 40, so it's literally hugely rapid fire. And chances are we can get two or three, maybe even four bullets off before one bullet of this guy can go. So maybe it's better to keep the assault rifle? I'm not sure. Tell me what you think about that. Uh, the shotgun, I, I love the idea of shotguns, but I don't really use them all that much. So I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of that guy. And our sniper rifle is going to be on the second slot. Rocket launcher is good, but I think that's going to be number four. And I think we're going to keep our minigun at number three. What else do we have? Maybe there's something else we actually want to look into. We already have the tier two of that. Laser pistol though. This is 85 damage and that's tier one is there a tier two version shotgun tier two minigun sniper pulse rifle oh yeah the pulse rifle uh but i don't know how it works laser rifle pulse rifle plasma cannon this guy is not a hand held or is it wait is this Oh, this is a handheld weapon. So laser rifle. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, wait, here we go. We could probably look at this. Uh, recharge. Is there a re rate of fire? 120 rounds per minute. This guy's 600 rounds per minute. But that's still pretty quick. I mean, it's still a machine gun style. Oh, look at you. Pulse rifle is 600 RPM. And the damage is 60, so it would be better to upgrade to the pulse rifle at least, but maybe even this guy who has 135. It's a little slower. Okay, let's let's do the... Okay, so it's... it's I say a little slower. It's actually a lot slower. Uh, 120. Well, let's see something we know is like one shot, like the sniper rifle. is 150, yeah. So the laser rifle is actually slower than the sniper rifle. Uh... What is your magazine capacity? 25. I'm thinking this guy might be pretty quick. I don't need a rapid fire weapon. I really don't. This is as fast as the assault rifle. Ooh, I don't know. I'm liking the plasma cannon. Maybe in place of the minigun, even though it's epic. I don't know about using the epic minigun. I'm not sure about that guy. Harvester module. I want to see what else we have. Railgun. Okay, these are ship guns. And these are all turrets. So I think that is the extent of the actual handheld weapons. And this is all the ammo. Okay, good. So 
right now we're looking at pulse rifle or laser rifle as a replacement for the assault rifle. I tell you what, I think we're going to go with the assault rifle. We're going to try it out. If it doesn't work out, then we'll go back to the pulse rifle. But I'm liking the damage of this guy. And I think it's somewhat semi-automatic, so I should be able to shoot it fairly fast. This guy is not. This one requires a pretty big recharge, I believe. Reload time is 4.1. Oh, this is a three-second three reload. Three, oh, reload time. That's different. That's different. Okay, never mind. Um, I'm looking for... And then this guy is like, instead of... The rocket launcher. This is 180 damage. This one's 300 damage. This is a cannon. This thing is wicked. So I think we're going to get rid of you and get the plasma cannon. So the laser rifle instead of the assault rifle. And then the plasma cannon, in, cannon instead of the rocket launcher. So we don't need the rocket launcher bullets anymore. And we don't need the 5.8 millimeter, I believe, was this guy. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Uh, and I, these are my sniper rifle, which I do indeed need. These are my charges, obviously. We're going to stack all this stuff up over here. Med kit, med kit. Uh, these are other things. We'll do that. And then we can get some more of those as well. So number four. Uh, and then we need, so I need the laser rifle one, which is LR charges. Uh, no idea where you are. Probably these LR charges. No. <laughs> uh, LP charge. Where is... Oh, LR charge. Here we go. So this is what I need for that. We get 25 for one of those. It's pretty cool. We need fuel pack promethium. I have a lot of promethium, so that's not a problem. Metal pieces, we have a lot of iron as well. Uh, I, I'm pretty good with this. Let's go ahead. So we get 25 shots per. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4. It's 100. 200, 300, 400. We'll do that for now. Yeah, we'll do that for now. Uh, and that's for that. This guy takes PL charge or PI charge cannon. LS, PI charge SV, HV, BA. Uh, no. Wait, we're LP charge. I know I have it, but I don't know drill turrets. Wait, what are you? Plasma cannon, PI charge cannon. Because he uses the PI charges. SV, HV, CV, and BA. And the flak shells. Here they are. <laughs> Whoops. I kind of missed those completely, didn't I? Alright, so. They look like fusion cells. For whatever reason. So, yeah, it kind of got a little e eh, about them. Anyway, so let me go ahead. Uh, these get 20. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, then we'll have, what is that, 200 of these guys. Uh, whoa, wait. I, don't, I did that math way wrong, I think. 5 first. 5, 10, 15, 20. Maybe not. 200, I guess. But 2 times 2 is 4. I don't know. Well, anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm going to have a bunch. I'm going to have both of them. 250. And, yeah. We'll be straight there, I believe. So, we'll go ahead and take you guys here. And then these guys will be done. And maybe, yeah. I don't think we have enough time to play with them. But I'm sure you guys know what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and let these guys craft up. Uh, and get them all situated. And in the next, uh, next episode, maybe we'll play with them a little bit more. And actually get some more stuff going. So... If you did like the episode, don't let that like button get lonely and subscribe to see more. Check out the Patreon and donation links down below. Thank you for watching. Do what you do, and I will see you next time. Peace out. Peace.